All right, well, there's a couple ways of doing this. Um, you know, actually, the method of invert, this is just one fraction here. So the method of inverting this and multiplying might not be a bad idea here, because I can invert that and multiply. It might simplify things nicely. The other possibility, again, is to get the least common multiple. In this case, the least common multiple would be the following. Let me just tell you what it would be, in case you did it this way. It would be x times x plus 1. So I'd multiply the top and the bottom by this. And if I did that, I'd cancel all the denominators. See, I've got to cancel that thing and that thing. This just won't cut it, because that would not be able to cancel with the x. I need to have a factor of x there. So this is the least common multiple of, of all these people. But actually, just for fun, I'm going to show you the other way of doing it, which is just to notice this is just one big fraction here. So let me invert it and multiply it and see what happens. So if I invert and multiply it, now watch me now. Whoop, now it's x over 1. So if I'm actually just multiplying this whole top by x. So this just becomes x times all that. So what would x times all that be? Well, if I distribute the x, what I would see is an x on the top there. minus, and if I distribute the x here, what do I have? x over x, right? I have an x here multiplied by an x on the bottom. I just get 1. So in fact, it equals that, which would be a great answer. Of course, if you want to get a common denominator, now it's easy to do it. I just multiply top and bottom here by x plus 1, and I would see x minus x plus 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1. I just turned that 1 into x plus 1 over x plus 1, and subtract. If I subtract, what would it look like? I see an x minus x, that's 0. And then it looks like I have uh, just that 1 there all over the common bottom. So 1 over x plus 1. Is that what you got? Gee, I hope not, because that's wrong. Classic mistake number Four. Once again, that's right, the subtracting mistake. Don't forget that you've got to share the negativity. When I subtract, I've got to subtract everybody, and that negative sign has to hit here as well as here. So in fact, this is missing the necessary negative sign to make this correct. So it's minus 1 over x plus 1. That's the answer. Okay, so complex rational expressions, a little bit of a deal, I'll grant you that, but not a big deal. You've got to be really careful. Either find a, a least common multiple to clear out those denominators, or just combine everything, have one big fraction over one big fraction, whoop, invert, multiply. Be really careful with a little bit of arithmetic there, and you're home free.